Welcome to Hort Tube, where we talk all things gardening. My name is Jim Putnam, and this is a Shamrock Inkberry Holly. This is a Shamrock Inkberry Holly, a compact Inkberry Holly that does a better job of keeping the foliage near the base of the plant. Shamrock can eventually reach six feet in height and probably four to five feet in width, but it's very easy to keep it much smaller than that. Shamrock Inkberry Hollies can actually grow in zones four to nine, which covers a substantial part of the entire United States. There's not a lot of leafy evergreens in zones four, so this is a nice option. Shamrock has a moderate growth rate. We might get six inches of growth out of these in a single season. To keep Inkberry Hollies their fullest, you wanna give them at least a half a day sun and then all the way to full sun. They are very shade tolerant. This plant will have no problem at all adapting in the shade. It just will be on the thinner side and you'll have to do some pruning on it more consistently to keep it full. There are a lot of uses for these Inkberry Hollies. I have one on the corner of my foundation of my house that I've kind of tree formed a little bit and let it get about five feet tall and it looks great. Really, really is a nice plant. I've also have one in a container uh, that looks great year round. Uh, and then this plant could actually be used as a border plant or a screening plant between you and a neighbor if you didn't need a lot of height in your screen because it'll only get about six feet tall. The main attribute to Shamrock Inkberry Hollies is number one, this plant is adaptable to almost any place you put it. And it's also adaptable to wet feet, which is unusual. Most foundations have a spot that stay wetter than the rest. So this is usually a good plant for that kind of space. It has really, really nice lustrous green dark foliage. It keeps its foliage closer to the base. Some of the other inkberry hollies lose their leaves down on the bottom and look like little trees most of the time, but this one will regenerate the foliage easier at the bottom. It does get a black berry on it, and this one I don't know if you can see in the video has a few near the base. I've linked videos in this video for either planting inkberry hollies in clay soils or sandy soils. Inkberry hollies are very adaptive to almost any conditions, which makes them really, really useful in a lot of difficult situations. For the first year after you plant your inkberry hollies, you're gonna to wanna to check them occasionally, uh, dig down a couple inches, maybe six inches back from the base of the plant and see if it needs water. And if it does, saturate the entire area around it. Once these are established, they're very drought tolerant. They're also dr tolerant of wetter soils than some other plants, which makes them very useful on a foundation if you have a wetter space. But that doesn't mean they just wanna absolutely sit in water all the time. Inkberry hollies are acid loving plants and any fertilizer for acid loving plants in the spring would be great. Any azalea, camellia, rhododendron fertilizer, something that lasts three to four months, just once in the mid spring. Inkberry hollies can be pruned pretty much any time you needed to get it under control. It's not the fastest growing holly in the world. And so if you took a foot off of it, you could probably go a couple years without needing to prune it. Inkberry hollies are very pest and disease resistant. We just don't have many problems on these and they're also deer resistant. So what are you waiting for? Even you can grow the low maintenance, compact shamrock inkberry holly. Thank you for watching my video and if it was helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Also comment below with any questions you have about hollies. Thanks again.